There you have it, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome all to the Third Age Total War. This is on 3.2. So, and the faction, of course, that won. Thank you all for participating in the faction vote for me. Very much appreciated. Rune is the faction that won. So, ah, uh, yes, not the Sauron, Chief of Morgoth. They're just basically telling us that uh, it's going to be a long time before we get armies and all that business going on here. <clears throat> so, here we are. So this is uh, pretty damn cool. I am excited about playing this. I did not see this faction actually as the one being chosen to be uh, played. <laughs> I wasn't really sure which one was going to be chosen, but uh, you know, um, you know, just I like the surprise. You know, what, uh, what can you do? This is my scouting army here. Here comes my sneaky general that will do exactly this. <laughs> um, yeah, if you guys haven't uh, done this one right off the bat, uh, you know what? What's 232 people? No, no, we'll occupy it. Um, these guys will follow suit in here next turn. Yeah, they, they kind of get screwed by starting outside. It's not my fault. And I actually, um, I didn't look this up, um, I'm telling you the truth. I saw this happen when I played a couple turns as Dale, and actually as a couple turns as the dwarves, that this place was captured on turn one. You can walk your person down here and see that this region is captured on turn one. It, it's, so I knew the computer had a way to do this, so I just figured. That's about the way it works. You do <laughs> that's <laughs> so I just that's how that works. That's exactly how that works. The spy. This is uh probably our first area of expansion. Little this way, and mostly this way. And our first wars will be with Dale and the Dwarves. Um, both are going to be kicked in the face equally, and then also the Sylvan Sylvanels. Uh, this is set up as a short campaign, but uh, depending on how we move through this and what we do and how people enjoy this and whatnot I have n really no problem with uh, wiping out basically all the good factions as the rune right now I'm gonna play as an actual evil faction and I will do my part as an evil faction to work under the might of Sauron so um, yeah if we're gonna retrain this business uh, yeah, the great eye over here. So I'm going to do everything I can to stay bad and evil and ally with my evil clans and uh, do all that business to... Sorry about that. That forgot my phone was still at volume. Taken care of. Um, we... Well, I actually have my phone on quiet all the time and I just turned it up last night. Stupid. Anyways. So we've got the spy moving. we got our first captured settlement already reinforcements on the way this place is going to be okay um what i can even do though just to help make sure is we'll just stick it to a low tax rate just for now and um we actually only have 20 percent culture so we're going to need to re get uh, a culture up that's very important in this game to in order to be able to build units mines uh money is hard to come by in this so it's always good to have places that are going to give you the money Shrine of Melkor is what's going to give us the culture upgrade here. Um, I was just quickly looking for uh, public order aside from the brothel, and it looks like that's going to be the only thing to jumpstart this really quickly. But I don't need that. I'm actually going to just do the normal money making business because we, these two units will plow in here next turn, so that's going to be fine. That'll be okay. So we got, uh, yeah, stuff everywhere. <clears throat> There's going to be places that we don't need to keep men in, and, uh, I'm probably just going to bounce around. Let's see. Your money making is okay. You're about 3,000 a turn. Uh, let's start with the poorest places. Give you guys a town watch. And this is going to need to produce army pretty quickly. Not much going on here. We can make another spy, but I'm not going to go for that. We are just going to put up the land clearance here. And you, you guys aren't even growing in population, so of course we have to put land clearance here. I think that's about what we're going to do all the way around, actually. Just really quick. Actually, nope. See? This is where it came in. I want to do these mines somewhere. 
because that 300 is going to be huge for growth. Green exchange also would be nice. Leather tanner to increase our units. Although our units are pretty, uh, I think, versatile, multi-rolling units. A lot of skirmishing units, a lot of infantry units. And we actually do have some heavy cav. There are some archers. I mean, it's an actual decent amount of uh, diversity in our unit capabilities. Oh, what I am going to also do, though, here is, uh, since we have this shining public order everywhere, um, and we'll see actually how much of this stays when we go and take these guys out, because these don't need to stay here. And their first place of expedition will be to here. How happy are we still? Very happy. Very, very indeed. Let's do this. Well, hey, eh, can we go up to very high? No, nope. we'll stick you on high taxes for now, but population growth. Let's see, population is 1100. This really kills your ability to upgrade these places, but it gives you more money right now. Next turn, we will actually have population income. It's only 5% this turn. And it's actually worth uh, a 60 coin there. So we're going to do that. And the village, will leave that alone. The city over here. Yeah, no people this turn. Give me the money. So hit me for a turn of money. Also here. Okay, money. <coughs> and there's no units here. No, there is. We'll wait for these ones to go up together. And these guys hit me with the money. And you guys also. Let's see. We'll take money out of you. Put a market here. Nope. Can't take those guys out. We've already done that. <coughs> Excellent. What we do need, though, uh, any bit of money somewhere, is the ability to make a diplomat. Uh, we can only make spies. I need a. Uh, could have sworn we you definitely can get one. Shrine, my caravan stop. What the uh, hell am on? Spy. <laughs> Look, there's even some cavalry now. Town hall. Ah, that's what I need. Give me this back. Give me that. Yeah, we need to have a diplomat. <laughs> Otherwise, we're screwed. So next turn, we'll still be making some good money, partially because we'll be making that 500 bucks off of that real quick. Awesome. And that about wraps that up. A lot of people go through, I've noticed, and throw up watchtowers, but I don't need to see anything over here. There's no reason for me to see anything. What I need to see is right here. I need to see the dwarves and their ability to come into my land, and I need to see Dale and their ability to come in my land. Why do I care what's back here? There's nothing back here. Rebel army. I'll deal with that as they come. If I, <laughs> if I even worry about them, rebel armies in this game are not as big as concern as say, oh, I don't know, some other mods like my DLV mod that I'm doing. That those rebel armies are pretty intense. Planetary. We don't have one of those, and uh, we won't have the ability to use one of those for a really long time. Uh, the closest place would be taking the Sylvan Elves' little, little uh. Oh, what's that little, I'm trying to figure out what it, it's like a bird feeder, basically. It's like a little pond of water that uh, she looks into. Oh, boy. Um, so we got this, and we'll just keep building up some men here until we can wipe out that rebel army that's standing there doing nothing. So we'll have to wait another turn before we can make some men there. We did make our 5,000 bucks, so that's good. Let's continue on our vision quest over here. So that's a place that we want to try and take. It's a good castle. That'll be good defense from Dale. And then over, uh, let's just go straight up there. We want to get to them as fast as possible and see what they're doing. You see, this is their borderline already. Because they have a place here and here. Our first fights will be with the Dale for sure. All right. Get you guys. Everybody's going forward. <coughs> Everyone's happy still. Oh yeah. 
land clearance will be done we'll have some more units available so let's see I would like another spy still um, and where else can we drag some units for that we're not gonna need you guys actually we're gonna send you up and around but we're gonna have to drop taxes again here just so that's doable how much money do the face cards make this is an important thing sometimes in this game they don't make a whole lot of money as you can see this guy's only pulling in 30 bucks 35 40 bucks not not a real big big winner <coughs> um, I really do want to make some more mines these uh, we have the ability to make them kind of all over the place and uh, <laughs> that money is really really useful so about the Easterlings um, I would really like to actually get some more information than what I've been able to look up just from this game I'm reading uh, the Samurils and if I ruin that pronunciation I'm sorry but that's the the book about the first age basically the creation of all this land and peoples by what was considered the gods of well Middle Earth and the Valor, the place that they all lived in. Um, my understanding is correct. The Semerils, this story that I'm reading are Semerils. Uh, they're the rubies or gems that, uh, well, gave them all their power, more say. It was like their light, the beacon of light that, uh, I don't know, the whole presentation of God and whatnot that they had. So I haven't really, I looked through uh, the table of context and whatnot looking for when the Easterlings come about and it really hasn't defined them as a people yet. It was just defining the creation of elves and defining the creation of man and the difference between them and how the elves have, you know, the immortal life. But, you know, it's not seen as such a great thing. The The fact that the he, uh, regular, I don't know, I'll just call them humans or man, uh, the fact that they come and go was something of a blessing or uh, something special that they were only here for so long and that their existence on Middle Earth was that much more important than an entire lifespan of an elf. So just a different way of looking at things and how people here in our world would, I think, like to be immortal to see so much more of growth and development. But, uh, you know, this is a beautiful uh, the possibilities in fantasy world. So. Let's continue on here. We gotta make sure we're staying on target. We wanna make sure everything's moving forward. Uh, these guys, I wanna send out some of these clan warriors. We got archers. This is our uh, the man here, the faction leader. Um, if I take out army here, the I need to lower taxes. All right, so we're gonna drop these taxes back down to here. And we're gonna take a look at, just how much money do you pull in? Cause I mean, yeah, see these face cards are actually pulling in a decent amount of money. We'll just take all these guys, send them out here. Okay, see, we'll drop it down normal. That's fine. I'm good with normal taxes. We're still pulling in a good chunk of money. These guys are moving forward. Those guys are going to stay put for the time being. That's all right. We got two more turns for our town hall. Get our diplomat up and going. I'm not making any more units, but I will send these guys around all right so we'll drop taxes here to normal everything's good population's gonna go up that's fine what can we do i'm gonna pull out a spy here so we can start looking on uh, the doors and i think i might go for oh yeah these guys are missile cab beautiful unit um yeah we're not going to produce any men just quite yet. We have quite a bit of men that's going to join up for this army. Let's make six, nine. Plus we'll be able to see what's happening over there. No one else can be spared. And these guys are all under free upkeep. That's all right. These guys are going around. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with what's happening there. We can't do much here. We're already allied with Mordor. That's why I really don't have to worry about going down here. And I'll be able to ally with the Harajim. Harad or Hadrim. Uh So we're not going to be any issues there. Notice there's really no concern over the dark allies here until you really piss one of them off. So we'll flip this turn and scoot, scoot, scoot along here. 
Yeah, so I'll have to look at uh, into what other texts are available from the whole JR token and uh, this world that he has created to find out a little bit more about the Easterlings aside from what you can just read from this mod. Um, and of course, you know, you guys, whatever information you want to throw up there about this, it's fantastic. Start a conversation going on there. I'm definitely going to be involved with it. And, uh, you know, the comments are going to be awesome. And uh, we'll learn a lot about the good old third age here in Middle Earth. So, yeah, we got a lot of land clearance produced there. It's good. Our spy is done. That's awesome. The army is convening here. Make sure nobody leaves. That's good. We can uh, make another tribesman here. Over here, we're still on the high taxes, so we're not making... People are not being uh, produced right now. Population is not growing. But money. I am concerned more about money right now, to be honest. Uh, do, 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 do. I really want to put these mines everywhere. It's just a lot of money. I got no. We're going to do it. Because the sooner I get them in, the faster we're going to get money. And I'm not seeing being attacked right off the bat as a concern. All right, I should have gotten uh, agent. Here we go, Mr. Spy. Mr. Spy, come this way. Look at that little sneaky, another rebel army. Dirty, dirty little rebel armies. And you don't have anyone else that can go with me. Maybe I should try and prove. Let's see, well, Klansmen. These are just regular dudes. Not exactly the best unit we could have. These guys might be better since they can throw a javelin, but then I doubt they have the morale to stand. Oh, good morale. Excellent morale, good stamina. Interesting. Well, maybe they'll, they will be some decent units, you know? That's, uh, I kind of want some more of these uh, frog riders. So I can do a lot of work with those. Plus, they move farther so we can get them over here faster. But uh, here we go. There's two more units to the party. Plus these guys, right? These are the fancy units. They're costing me a lot right now, not doing anything. We'll see them in action. All right. So things are doing all right here. Uh, the only question I have here is I need, I actually need a guy here. Because I bet this face card will pull more money into uh, this place than in here town city you know potential is a lot higher obviously all right I think that sums up our spending capabilities here which means we're back on the vision quest let's see let's go right up to the border hmm let's look at this place first Darwinian has three place three people in it huh all right so then I'll be able to go back this way, and then this spy can continue up here, and we'll be able to identify everything the dwarfs and the dale have immediately, and the sylvan elves, although I'm pretty sure they're going to stick to the middle of the map, so fancy pants stuff there. I think we're about ready to flip the turn. Uh, nobody else can do anything here. That's I kind of want to send these guys forward since they have some expedience. What is their actual upkeep cost 170 the difference in making that in four thousand dollars well I guess we're gonna send them forward that's cool we need our population to come back all right plus that army getting up there sooner means expansion faster and away we go yeah I love this Turn flips are fast, huh? So we have an adopt candidate to adopt. That's not too shabby. I mean, the fact that it has stats up here is pretty good. This is not great, only having five, but command, handsome, duly obedient, cruel, and cunning. He's 41 years old. Not sure how long the Easterlings live on a natural basis here. Uh, we'll take them. Uh, yeah, flames of war stirring in Middle Earth but we're not quite ready yet. Are these stages are nearing completion? Yeah. We're pumping out the men, preparing, go look for the ring, all that good stuff. Where did that uh, 
space car come in. Where the hell is it? Ah, here we go. So that was the faction error, and this is just a general. Wow, he doesn't move very far, does he? I was going to see about sending him back here to have this place make more money, but that's okay. This bolstered this army. It would be a spirit militia. I know I can run these over with the cavalry. Can run these over with the cavalry. Pretty sure that's another one of these. Could be one of these, but uh, I don't know. Peasant axemen can run them over. Yeah, that's going to be tough. And what? Wait a minute. There's a hundred. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait. No, no, no. Okay, I can run them over too. So that's why I can sack these guys. I'll be able to run them over. That's woodsmen, woodsmen. Yeah, that's actually a fight that we'll be doing next time. For sure. Alright, so these guys ah oh, damn it. Nice army we have here. This this is this is looking fantastic. We're gonna take our quick peek this way. Two units. They are flooding down everything they can here. Face card. Face card. Two units. Just a face card. That's not a whole lot though, that's interesting nothing coming this way so there's no one ahead of the gang moving up the line we go check out the doors and they haven't moved down yet either that's awesome all right so things are looking fantastic here so thank you guys for watching this part one of the rune things are moving along quickly we will be taking out these rebels here and then uh we'll be this army should most likely be moving forward to take on this castle so runes on the move check it out next time for part two leave those comments down there about the information on the easterlings we're going to start a little uh history lesson on uh this if we can and your guys support and input is greatly appreciated so throw them down there the thumbs up always greatly appreciated and have a good one everybody